Hello everyone, this is Hany Abu. Welcome to the BlockNet X router demonstration. Uh, the X router is a blockchain router which solves a tremendous interoperability problem, which is the ability to communicate with different blockchains. So this actually enables multi-blockchain applications to start being developed on our protocol. And it's very exciting. This is uh, news that was just released yesterday. There's no one else in the blockchain ecosystem that actually has this capability that we are aware of. Uh, so let's begin. In this first uh, call, we'll be showing you the DX get local tokens RPC command. Uh, this is run in a client that has zero wallets attached to it. And as we uh, press enter, you can see it returns an array with zero uh, wallets within it. However, if we go to another client that does have wallets attached, it returns uh, those five coins that are linked to that wallet. Next up, we can also look at uh, the XR get block count command, which gets the block count of the blockchain that we are querying. For Bitcoin, it returns uh, block 523034 as the block height. Uh, we can also do this for Litecoin, uh, which returns block 1422838. Next, we'll show you uh, an incorrect command. Uh, just so you can see an example of an error code that is returned. It's actually expecting uh, the block hash to be entered in there. It does return the specific error code. Uh, but let's move on and see what the actual block hash is. We can see that it actually does return uh, a block hash. We could even go a step further and look up the transactions within that block uh, by using the command xr get block uh, btc and then paste in the block hash. And it returns all the transactions within that block. And here I'm just scrolling up through all the transactions uh, that are in that block. We can even take a look at the block explorer. Here we'll paste in that block hash and the explorer will return all the blocks. Here we can even confirm that it is actually for block 522500. And if we go back, we can see this first transaction, which ends in 29A5. And then we can go to the Explorer and see what transaction it lists there as first. And we can see that it does indeed match. We can also see the second transaction, which ends in 9DFA. Going back to the command line, uh, we can see that that does match as well. So let's go on to the next command, which is to get the transaction details. Uh, to do that, we use XR, get transaction. We'll then enter in the uh, transaction hash. And here you can see that it returns all the transaction details. Let's go back to the Explorer and we'll click on the details for that uh, specific transaction and pull that up. Okay, let's go back to the terminal and here we can see all the transaction details. So, you know, let's actually uh, confirm that this information matches as well. An easy way to confirm this is to look at the outputs. Uh, so we have one output to address ending in GY for 0.00006934 Bitcoin. So let's go back over to the terminal. And you can see here that we have a value for one of the outputs as 0 .00006934 uh, to an address ending in GY. Uh, so there you have it folks. That's a great preview of XRouter, how you can make uh, RPC calls to uh, any compatible blockchain on the BlockNet network uh, without actually needing to uh, download the full blockchain of that specific coin you are querying. This actually enables a variety of different applications to be developed that utilize uh, services from other blockchains. We're also adding more and more coins at an accelerating pace that are compatible with the BlockNet protocol. Uh, so that wraps it up for, for this demonstration. Uh, I hope you all 
uh, join our Discord channel, which can be found on our website. Uh, and we also have a newsletter you can subscribe to where we release updates on our project every two weeks. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys join uh, the BlockNet community. We're happy to have you and we're happy to continue connecting different blockchains and communities as we move forward. Thank you, everyone.